What's worse than being stung by a bee? Being stung by a swarm of bees. What could be worse than that? Try being almost 100 feet in the air and getting relentlessly attacked by an angry mob of killer bees. This nightmare scenario is what ultimately took the life of a locally beloved counselor and climber from Arizona, Stephen Johnson. Back in the spring of 2013, Stephen was spending his weekend the way he typically would, hanging out in the mountains south of Tucson, Arizona, climbing rock walls and spending time with his adorable best friend, his dog. Checking out a new route on Mount Hopkins, Stephen approached a 150 foot rock face from the ridge above, where his dog would patiently wait while he rappelled down. While working on the route, Stephen began hammering his spike into the cliff. Little did he know, lurking nearby was a massive swarm of aggressive bees. The sudden impact and noise of Stephen's spike shocked the bees who were nested along the cliff. Aggravated by the intrusion, they quickly surrounded Stephen and began stinging him relentlessly. Stuck in the middle of the wall, still 80 feet below the ridge above, the 55-year-old climber had nowhere to go, and after being stung hundreds of times, he died from mass envenomation, his body left hanging 70 feet above the ground. Heartbreakingly, the bees not only took Stephen's life, but proceeded to fly up and overwhelm his tiny dog, taking its life as well.